Welcome to Morning Man with Pastor Steve Myrie. This morning's topic, the unpopular testimony. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. 3 John 1 verse 2. If I were to ask you to define for me what is a testimony, there are many who would speak of the fact that God delivered them from adversity. God healed them from sicknesses. God provided for them when they were going through a famine. And therefore, as a result of that, there are many who will stand up to testify in church. Based on what they hear the person before them is saying, then they will start comparing their testimony and feel that their testimony can't be matched up with that person's testimony. There are those who will switch their testimony in order to feel as if they gave a good testimony. Let's take it a step higher. There are those who will even give alternative facts in order for their testimony to be compared with somebody else's. Because who wants to testify and not feel like you set the place on fire? That mindset has diminished what it means to truly testify of the goodness of God. I remember some years ago, I was getting ready to minister at a street service held in the parking lot at my church. A sister testified that she had bone cancer and God healed her. Interestingly, the sister that came after her said, Sis, you thought you were sick? Well, let me tell you about sickness. Mind you, she was speaking as well of how God healed her. But then the Lord spoke to me. The Lord said to me, Son, there are many who are looking for popular testimonies about how I healed them from diseases. I protected them from the rapists. I brought them back out of a coma. But how many knows that never going to the doctor is a testimony? Listen to me, child of God. How many knows that never going into the emergency room is a testimony? How many will come to church and testify that saints, I'm in a wonderful job. And while there are those who are sitting waiting to hear the drama that went on your job, you said, no, I'm just in a good job. How many will testify and say, I was able to go to the supermarket today? How many can say, saints, I've got a good man? I've got a good woman. How many can say, saints, I've got good kids. I've got good grandkids. How many can testify that I've got a good pastor. I've got a good first lady. I got a good brother who's always dear for me. He's always encouraging me. He's always standing by my side. How many can testify that I've got a good sister who's always got my back. These type of testimonies are the unpopular testimonies because we have been programmed to think if we don't speak about drama, then it means God doesn't get glory. John calls us to understand that we should not only rejoice in our spiritual blessings, but we should thank God that we're in good health. We should thank God that we have a good job. We should thank God that we have a nice car to drive in. And even if it's a jalopy, guess what? It's your jalopy. You should thank God that in this pandemic, at least 50 persons can come to your wedding or go to a funeral. <laughs> These are the unpopular testimonies. So the next time you get ready to testify, as God told me some time ago, never feel embarrassed to speak about how good he has blessed me materially. The quote of the day, God doesn't only want to bless you spiritually, but he wants you to be blessed with good health and material wealth. As you go today, go knowing good health and wellness is a true blessing that comes from God. God bless you today in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated.